wants to get some more play and make sure he's got two solid uh, uh, experienced tenders back there. And you never know. I mean, if, if something would happen again where Harrison would have been hurt, Tuttle would have been thrown in anyway. So Bill has to see how he reacts in the game situation. And this being a non-conference game, maybe this is a good opportunity for him. Not that he does I had a chance to interview him, uh, of course, uh, in our last game as well. And here you see Angulu, Angulu with a break. Angulu, top of the box, waits, drives this one through. What a great finish, Larry. Edwards at Invica.net. Let us know what you think of our coverage and what you think of USL soccer here on Invicta Sports. I got a text today, Chad, from uh, a gentleman out in Wisconsin that uh, through youth soccer got my name and number. And Dispossessed. Toure uh, peeling off. Not a bad ball again. Always round the keeper. And again, down the line from Charleston. Harrisburg have it on the far side. Turi cuts it inside for Hodgkin. And that's a good ball out to Schofield. That's a great ball. There's a goal. Super Bowl into the back post. Headed in. Pelletier is going to send it on goal. And that one headed away. That one played too low and too soft, I think. In there too, Absolutely to make it too any, soft. any type of a difference. Shot taken off the post. Great turn by Angulu, and you know what? Reed even thought he was beat on that one. It comes off the post and right back to him. He had him wrong footed right from the turn and brought it back to him. Touch there. Here's the Islanders on the changeup here. Long ball for Angulu. Now there's a ball that, you know, that flighted ball takes that, the advantage away when you've got Angulu sprinting ahead. You can drive that ball to the corner, let yeah. him run onto that. And forward. He's got to advance it, not a lollipop. He's just laying it in. It's got to be driven in with a little bit of pace. With the right accuracy, the right pace, and Gulo's in. And that creates a good goal scoring opportunity by lifting that ball in. Basso, who was sent off for Harrisburg. Nice little flick there, but. We're going to see a substitution for Jason. Uh, for Davis Goldfield, and I'm pretty sure we're either going to see either Torre or Seabrook. Here's Angulu. Checks up. Angulu has some room. Steps back. Angulu's going to play it out for Calvano. Calvano waits. Sends it in for Welker now. Welker waits. Angulu back for Welker. Welker trying to get there. Ball comes in. Flicked forward by Noon. Noon again now with the ball. Looks to switch fields and does so. Pelletier with it down this near side. Pelletier with some room. Has Ngulu breaking through. He's got to give it to him. He does. And Gulu's on sides now. And Gulu inside the box. Swings it back. And that one headed away is. Anybody this, anybody that. So there might be an injury that we're not aware of exactly. that they will suffer. From a tactical standpoint, I probably wouldn't make any changes. This down. How do you pick up from that? Well, Marshall's role is going to have to really get stronger. I mean, he's been out most of the year. Little one-two for uh, Angelo to chase. And into the box. Can he get the shot away? Pulls it back, squares it. Oh, there's no one there. <laughs> The union at DC United and, and, and Chicago and stuff, and, and several of these players have been up and down. Nice one touch. 
touch ball, and Gulo. Oh, nice ball, nice touch, nice patience. And Gulu holding that back line, making sure he stayed on sides, Greg, and just a nice little touch. And you know what? Cleared him, I think, came off his line a little too early, but he had to do something either way. But a nice touch by him. By him. But watch the replay. Look, off the goal kick, and the Islanders got a great break. And it, it almost was that the keeper didn't think he was going to shoot. And he just chipped it up. And you're right, he came way off his line there to chip it. And that's one. Doing just that, like you said, being a professional, going all the way to the end. It's funny, as the night has gone on, Larry, the temperature has not gone on, but it's gotten muggier, I think, as the night's gone on. It's gotten very sticky. The, the players are tired and cramping out there, and they're going to have to start. guys have come here to play. That's right. You know, that four to one victory that they had in the past is, is, is not, is no longer. So I hope they come prepared. Hope that was a wake up call for them. I know we're knocking on the door here. Oh, nicely done. Waiting uh, for the players to get into position. Torre gets above Marples. That's a good ball, actually, down the line there. Tackled by Falvey. Torre. <laughs> And then bunkering and then counter when they can. And Harrisburg being at home, you know, they want an attractive style. They want to open up. They want to play. They want to score, obviously, but they also don't want to give anything up in the process. And Gulu, great switch from BG here, and BG's going to be called off. Harrisburg should be able to clear it out to this near side. It's Toure, who gets past uh, Marples. Down the line it goes. The counterattack on here with Angelo. Deep cross, good ball. Across the middle it comes, oh. Well, in the end, Wilson directed. Harrisburg with possession. Nice play as uh, the ball back healed to Angelo.
goes to ground. The referee has a look. Play on, though. No foul. As uh, Harrisburg bring it out to this near side. Wilson. 